Hey, we're back. Guess what? <laughs> we got new microphones. <laughs> <laughs> and they're better than Mike from Cinema Massacre. Oh, <laughs> I uh, don't believe in that. Mike's great. I don't hate him, man. Just uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's not my favorite. I like the fat guys and James. Yeah. Because, you know, that's their names, the fat guys. <laughs> it should be. That should be their band, <laughs> the fat guy. I love James, man. He's probably the best person on YouTube ever. Yeah. He's never had any drama, controversy. And even the, the time people get mad, they were like, he won't watch Ghostbusters. <laughs> like, that's the worst you can say. He won't do what you want him to do. Yeah. He said, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Yeah. Hey, I know a great man that once said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Was it George Washington about taxes? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Hartman. Oh, Hartman. Which is he the fat guy or the dead guy? Uh, okay. De dead fatman. <laughs> uh, Hartman is the guy that looks like a nerd. Hartman. Yeah, we haven't met Hartman Phil yet. Phil Hartman. Oh, we saw him in like a hologram. Yeah, we saw him in a hologram. Why is that thing always walking in place? That's uh, it's like um, a soccer mom exercising. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Where'd it go? Uh, flipping into the twilight now. Somebody just, uh, like, built it as a... Joke? No, it just as, like, a little thing. Like a... Do you remember Baby Born from the 90s? It was, like, this toy that was, like, you could play with. It was, like, the, the song was, like, Baby Born, Baby Born. I think of that, like, melody at least three times a week. Like, Candy Corn, Candy Corn, or something like that. Candy Corn. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. That's crazy. You remember the Sliminator, the uh, Hot Wheels toy that would like slime on other? It was part of it was part of the Hot Wheels uh, attack pack or whatever crew. They yeah. were like half car, half animal. Yes, I do dude, remember that. I freaked out on this. I love those things, but I never got the Sliminator. Really? I couldn't afford it. Ah. Uh. But I, I had like, I had the spaceship ones that turned into like predator-looking monsters. Yeah. Man, speaking of which, uh. I watched Bone Tomahawk again this weekend. Oh, yeah? Which is probably... It might be my favorite Western other than, like, either Unforgiven or Doomstone. Yeah. It's a pretty good one. I it like was even better watching it again. I like both True Grits a lot. Yeah. Like, those are great. But, like, I love uh, uh, Jeff Bridges. Yeah. So Jeff Bridges being Rooster Cogburn. Yeah. God, it's so funny. When he, like girl he says come here girl <laughs> yeah it reminds me of uh you, you've seen those memes with uh kratos from god of war the new boy. one yeah when he was <laughs> boy <laughs> i think i hadn't seen anybody made a, make a comparison between rooster cogburn and that girl and then kratos and that boy <laughs> but i'm <laughs> oh, making shit, it oh shit here come that boy yeah the first uh meme from that god of war i saw was the, the this one the boy yeah but that one <laughs> yeah. they just made it kratos for yeah Boy. Boy. From a uh, crybaby? I don't know. I don't know oh, where. No. No, I don't know where that meme started. The one where he starts oh, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. "Boy." Yeah. But they made it. Uh, they made it. Kratos. Kratos. Man, that's funny. Kratos, the fresh maker. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. So I watched um the Steve Jobs movie this weekend too. The one with Ashton Kutcher. No, or that's the other Jobs. One? This uh, was Steve Jobs, and this was a better movie yeah but it it was just about the three launches of three different products and then they revolved his life around it which mm. it's it's great like as a film yeah but i'll be dang man i don't understand how that dude did not get punched in the face if just half of like what they portray yeah. of him doing is true dude i don't know how someone didn't pop him in the mouth well <laughs> i blame california and they're like weakness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. no no other. Po what other job could you do that in? Like, you, you have the best people in the world working for you. Like yep. at their trade, the best people. They are much smarter than you. Yeah. They're they're the best. They're the best. They're like number one, and they're letting you yell at them. Yeah, that's crazy. And like crazy. threaten them. It's like, oh gosh. No one. Not even like his friends. Not even the Waz. Like, yeah. the Waz should have just... Oh, someone should have laid him out. Yeah, but he was a visionary. I don't and care. Like, I, I mean, really don't care. I mean, he was like an <laughs> asshole. But... You can be a visionary and not be an asshole. Yeah. That happens all the time. I don't know. 
I'm just saying like that. Oh, uh, you don't know that. I bet he was an asshole. No, because you'd have got killed back then. You couldn't be an asshole to people back then, man. Uh, unless, unless you were a white landowner or royalty. <laughs> yeah. And then you could only be an asshole to certain folk. <laughs> <laughs> man, he kind of was. Oh, I think man. Leonardo da Vinci was a big asshole. Tesla was not. Uh, Tesla wasn't, but he was like cut from a different cloth, man. Yeah, but a different country. <laughs> yeah, a better so, country. So was Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> nah, a better country than Italy. He was from Siberia, man. Those people are hard. Was he really from Siberia? Uh, yeah. Was I think he Russian. Yeah, he was. Nikola, maybe he was. Nikola like was. That. I, thought si was, I thought he was like Ukrainian. I thought he was like a Ukrainian Jew or something. I nah. don't know. He was from Siberia. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, easy, whoa, man, I almost killed we mama got a badass twice over here. Now that we're talking old memes, we got a badass over here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think I, I thought I had to like. Was that Neil Deadass Tyson? Was that who that was supposed to be? Uh, Neil Tyson doing what? Was he the? We, whoa, we got a badass over here. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Neil Deadass Tyson. Yeah. Neil Dead Arm Road Tyson. Oh. Neil you, Mike Tyson. Did you talk about Dead Arm Row? Did we or, do that on the air? No, we didn't no, do it on the air. Right. You talked to me yeah, about it. I found, this, <laughs> I found this like one YouTube video. And I wish I could figure out who it was, but it was uh, this dude. And he's like a hip hop dude. And he interviews like other hip hop dudes like in the industry or whatever. And he's like, he had this one guy that's like a rapper. But he was also like, he went to prison numerous times. Like imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> They get a bad rap, that's all I'm saying. A bad rap. <laughs> so he goes, Got it. Yo, 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 tell me what prison's like. And I'm, I'm trying to do the voice right because he was Asian. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, yo, tell me what Asian's like. Tell me what uh, Asian's like. Tell me what China's 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 like. Do it. <laughs> was Trump Do it saying now. this? <laughs> yeah. His name was Donald J. Trump, and who he was, was Asian. Who was his prison, and what does he do? <laughs> anyway, so he's like, yo, yo, what was prison like? And he's like, it's all right, man. You know, it, it, it sucks, it's prison. And the interview was like, you know, well, what about, like, rape and stuff? Which I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. They may, I don't know if I can. Eh, that's fine. Whatever. Maybe you can. And he was like. You know, I mean, I mean, it happened, but you know, it ain't, it ain't that bad. You just gotta be like a man. <laughs> he's like, okay. He's like, yo, there was this one guy there. His name was a uh, dead arm rope. <laughs> you know, like, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Why was he called dead arm rope? <laughs> he's like, I don't know. That's what they call him. Like, he had like this flesh-eating bacteria or something in his arm. <laughs> it was like, he was like eating his arm. And, like, but he, he, but he would still knock people out with it, and then he would rape them. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? It's, it's like, yeah. I mean, but then, and then like he's like, how did he use his arm? Like, I, I don't know how he used it. I don't know how it worked. I just know to call him dead arm rope. <laughs> <laughs> so now that's my new level of comparing anybody who's a badass. Like, oh, I don't know if he's dead arm rope though. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I wish I could find it and link it to you guys because obviously I did a, an awful representation of the voices because I'm really bad at Asian accents. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you do <laughs> if you do find it, send it to me and I'll put it in the description. I, but see, I fully hope and expect people that like quote me to do my stupid, slow, low, country ass voice. Yeah. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Look how cool this lab is. Look how cool it is. Man, it's very chic. Why is it called Bridges, but it's a, me a web? I don't know. But How would they afford that fireplace? It's just huh. always going. Dude, I'm just going to put Mama right there. You should. Just throw in the fireplace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I, I don't know how Steve Jobs didn't get punched in the face. Didn't get dead arm road. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I don't get it, man. I hate to say I'm not trying to be like a jerk, but I think it's because it's the tech industry. And because it's in California, like no one, no one wants to be like, you know what? <laughs> You're not going to talk to me that way. Boom. Man. Just pop him one time. Like that ego will go out the window as soon as he hits the floor. <laughs> I don't. He, he might fire you, but then he might be like, oh, I respect you because no one's ever hit me before. Even my parents, which they should have. Wasn't he like on a spectrum of like autism? I, I don't though? care. I He's the most fully functioning human being that's ever existed apparently because he made a billion dollar company yeah that's, that's not an excuse but he was just acting like any like 
Megalomaniac. Japanese, no, Japanese or like Korean, like huge boss man ever. A stereotype. Well, oh, a in stereotype a of that you mean? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just saying though. Like you only get like. I mean, Joe Rogan. Again, we're talking about Joe Rogan. He was talking about those parasites that like live in your stomach. Oh, the ones that uh, did arm row head. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. The parasites that make you more like ambitious and aggressive. Like it comes up from like having cats and stuff. Oh, gosh, have you heard that? Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird theory. Well, yeah, it's more than a theory. It's almost like proven. <laughs> so it's more than a theory. It's almost proven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can use that for anything. No. no. What, about, what about your theory that uh, you know, cats can eat cows? No, like, like there's from, a like you can just kill them. No, nah, dude. There's well, like, it's more than the theory. It's almost no. proven. There's like a th theory of relativity, right? It's not proven, but it's like, it's an assumed fact. Is that you like I mean? when time flies, when you're having fun? One I guess. Of our, one of our friends actually did ask that question. Look at this. Until Damn, recon... Pull the bridges. What is that word? Re res... Rescutation? Re Resuscitation. 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 But whatever that thing was, that was awesome. Yeah. This is the best looking, like place that's ever been in this game oh that's him that's heart man he's like the care bear but his heart's upside down <laughs> the care bear yeah there's only one yeah he's the caring one that's why he has the heart the care bear what's um, his name do you know the care bears names there's like a million of them there's like sleepy stinky <laughs> fat so <laughs> I think you're thinking of uh what's that movie Ghostbusters yeah that's it the one that James refused to watch ah back to Cinema Massacre are we yeah bringing it full circle a very round oh he'll come back to life circle Ashman man is that why he's called heart man cause his heart sucks I don't know We'll see. <gasps> they don't have pacemakers in the future. Brian, he's sensitive. Maybe he just got yelled at by Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Build a better pacemaker. Man, I bet he's going to make a whole lot more good inventions, though. Because you need that oomph. What the heck? Well, you saw that, right? Yeah. With my pants down. Literally. My pants are up. You could make it, Sam. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. He's a famous a actor. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Please, lay her down there. Yeah, just put that dead body right here in my room. He's Still the guy from... <clears throat> I wish they would show us his name. Like his no, your heart actor name. Beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach. Dang, I can't remember. And then return. Why? Why would you do this? Sixty deaths. And See, they talked about the beach. That's where his like sister mom is. To search the beach for my departed <laughs> This is how I live. This is my life. It doesn't have to be. We have so, pacemakers. While you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times. Dude, wouldn't that do some major damage? My beach count is a little high. Your heart dies for three minutes every hour. Yeah. That's like that movie, uh, Flatliners. Yeah, and it was bad for them. Yeah, they got possessed by shit. I mean, why isn't he possessed? Spoiler. The <laughs> spoiler. I don't want to spoil the pot, the plot for you guys, but <laughs> I don't want to spoil the pot for you either. <laughs> yeah, right. Man. My wife and my child. You it's gotta like get over. These people have to get over it. Get over what? What are you complaining they're, they're about? They're always caught in the past. They're always my complaining about something. The they're trying to fix the past so they can like make a better yeah, future let for tomorrow let the past die kill it no, if you have to you really should. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't run in the it's an octopus i mean a heart well, same thing <laughs> we all have a little octopus in us yeah I and an octopus's heart idea. in your butt beach don't octopi no it's not octopi it's octopuses don't octopuses have like Three like a weird like heart thing they got like two or something probably, probably got like four hearts or something like that i don't know yeah 
Anyway. You could say goodbye. Yo, that new episode of My Hero was uh, just filler. You watch it? Yeah, it was just filler, but... Uh, Clearly the little blonde kid's the leader. Clearly. Yeah, but Bakugo's too dumb to realize it. Yeah, but I was, what I was going to say, because I was, I thought you were going to say that. Yeah. It's st they still learn from, like, Dragon Ball and even, like, Hunter Hunter yeah. filler episodes. Yeah. The filler episodes in My Hero are, like, way good. Oh, yeah. They're better than usual. But it was weird that there was no B story. Right. Because like, they always have a B story, and they didn't in this one. It kind of was with All Might and Endeavor. <laughs> yeah, which was good. Yeah. Which, by the way, Endeavor? Yeah. That's a cool superhero name. Yeah, it is. Too like, bad he's a jerk. Yeah, I know. What a loser. He needs to learn that he'll never be number one as long as he's, like, a jealous jerk. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Maybe he will one day. Why is he reaching for his hand and up here in his lean, shoulder? who leans to do a handshake? You just... A body that doesn't necrotize. What did you call me? No sign of decomposition. Touches her boobs. I know, right? It's as if she were still alive. Maybe she is. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. <laughs> I can make a fortune off this. <laughs> he zips it back That's up and puts it in his bedroom. <laughs> Thanks for the delivery. Is he blind? Uh, Found it. He is blind. Oh, Poor that's why then. I bet he can see on the strand. Wait, dead man. That's why he goes there. It appears to be an Why isn't he called Deadman? Because he dies every day. Because he has something with his heart, but and his lab is next to a heart-shaped no lake. Yeah, but why didn't they just call him Deadman and get rid of all the other crap? It looks more like a BT's tether. How does it look? You can't see. And this was Mama. Maybe he's not blind. He was doing this. Yes. He was Ray Charles it up. Maybe he can see it because it's dead. It and because he dies, he can see like they do. Maybe, man. The beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough Let me put my hand right on her so boob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes he just gave you a heart. Yay. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. Is no, it, he, he dies every like 10 minutes. He said every 21 minutes or 24 minutes or something like that. 21 minutes. It said four minutes remaining. I know that they don't know how the time works in this game. No. One beach. That's the rule. Oh, I, bet, I bet they end up breaking that rule. Exception. Yeah, see? My beach is connected to others. It's special. As if it were the beneficiary of a coronary <laughs> bypass. Wow. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. Are you the Grinch? All I know is that I will... Them. That's kind of cool that his heart's outside his body, though. Even if my every visit raises new questions. That way he can monitor it a lot better. Like, if, it, yeah. if you were going to try and kill yourself every, like, 20-something minutes, One. you would want your heart outside to do that. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped They are a metaphor. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they... I'm asking that, too. We're asking that. Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. Okay. A place through which they pass on the yeah, way Yeah, try and side. explain something metaphysical to me. <laughs> you scientist. Yeah. Resentment, a, a fervent desire to remain... Unfinished business, just like they established in Casper. <laughs> the living impaired. They may give rise... Ah, you weren't to supposed to say Casper. Together, now that links back to when you said Stinky and Fatso. Yeah, that's the joke. Right? I don't know. That is a stretch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I learned all my jokes from Eric Andre. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Eric Andre. He got a small YouTube channel. Go check him out. <laughs> yeah. It's called Adult Swim. catalyst. <laughs> Man. Uh, Shout out to all the great, like, new comedians, like Eric Andre and, uh, Hannibal Burris and, uh, Whitney Cummings and, uh, nah, that's three. Three are good. Pulling all their strings. Because they're great. Oh, speaking of, do you know who Nardwar is? Evidence does suggest that Higgs... He's not a comedian. A metal band? No, that sounds great though. He's like an interviewer, like a reporter. Nardwar. Yeah, he's called. His name's Nardwar. He's interviewed like people throughout like the decades. Uh huh. Um, and he was like a dude in Canada who just started doing it. He was like in college, and they were like, 
time uh, hey bro your name's nordwar go yeah. talk to people yeah so he was on like a local radio station and like howard stern he just worked his way up through the uh radio world huh. but one of the things he's most famous for is his like research um in, into the people that he's interviewing so he won't go ask like bland questions yeah he'll ask really personal questions oh like an interviewer should well yeah but it's yeah. just like um hey i have a gift for you and yeah. they're like you have a gift for me so he'll pull out this album you gotta find stuff in three minutes oh man. oh not, damn. not interrupt but like what am i looking for i don't know but i'm pretty sure that's like the point of this little plot point right here. oh damn uh how do i zoom in I mean, you just said, like, you got three minutes, and I know she, yeah, see? Oh. That's cool. Ten likes received from Hartman. All right. Anyway, uh, so... I can figure it out. Nardwar. Nardwar. So, he, he found out, like, a lot of interesting things about, um, like, his guests and stuff. Uh -huh. And he would be like, hey, here, here's a gift for you. And they're like, what is this? And it's like a, uh... It's a lock of hair from when he cut it off the night before. No. In their house. It's almost that creepy, though. It's like, uh, hang on, I'm supposed to find like specific things, like his the things that look important. Uh, like an, like a book Snoop Dogg was looking for. Uh huh. Or like a VHS tape that's almost Im impossible to find. Like he found it. Oh, nice. And he would give it to people and be like, "Hey, check this out." Nordwork. Yeah, and like his whole thing is like he's Canadian and just crazy. Like he dresses with like these weird like golf clothes on. Uh huh. And uh, has oh. a weird like hat that he wears. Can we just call him Nard Dog. Nah, but he's great. <laughs> if um, I just found him like this year, yeah. or I mean this year of course. Oh, you can look behind you. Twenty twenty. Right. Yeah, I can yeah. go all the way around. I probably should look at this stuff. Nah. Uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know what any of this is, or if it matters. It's probably know, just man. filler. But probably. It's a Bulma episode. Yeah. Hopefully this one has more, uh, you know, than Bulma. More Bulmas in it? Yeah. But anyway, uh, Nardwar, go look him up on YouTube. Nardwar. He has some, but he interviewed all those comedians I said and was really nice. Oh, and yeah. uh, We could do it. We could kill him now. Yeah, we could. Haven't I found everything yet? No. I didn't look at this. The hot monitor. Anything else you... S oh. The alligator. Yeah, probably that. Or whatever. Is that really a whale? That's not a whale. I don't know. I've looked at everything that looks important. You All the way to the else? far left. I mean, the phonograph I tried to look at. Oh, there we go. The phonograph. An antique, antique record player. I wish I could see the record. What about this? Is that important? No. Uh, his little legs. <laughs> hey, look at me! Uh, I think that's it, man. This is creepy. Yeah. That's cool, man. Nardwar. Nardwar. He did a TED talk like nine or ten years ago. Was it about how TED talks are kind of overrated? Uh, no, but he did something really funny. Now look. 21 minutes. Visit 218,550. No, but Nardwar was just talking about how, like, all he wanted to do was, like, not be afraid and, like, just push himself to do things. And, like, he's kind of socially awkward. Yeah. So talking to people was something that was really difficult for him. So they were like, you should just go interview people. So he he's interviewed, like politicians and musicians and comedians and all this stuff most of life's just, basic functions it's just crazy that he put his mind to something and he did it so it's inspiring that's cool man yeah it's always good when people are good at what they do yeah physical but it, it's just an, it's insane the level of detail in which he like learns about the people yeah because it's not just like one gift He'll get like several gifts yeah. and bring them and just keep blowing their minds. Watch films. And they don't, he doesn't, you know, no one knows how they, he gets his information. He sounds like a nice person. Are those PlayStation 3 and 4 games? <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Makes no sense. And stories. Is Metal Gear over there? Consumable within a 20 minute window. Ah, lame. I don't know what that is. From before the Death Stranding, of course. I bet those are just movies then. But honestly. 
The 21 minutes I spend here. Dude, I I don't care. Nothing more. If this was like faster, to the search. it would be my cooler. Be but I think this is a cool concept. Yeah, they're all great concepts, but my gosh. I I'm thought I was playing dead. a game. You are already <laughs> dead. <laughs> That's what happened to his heart. He got a bunch of fingers stuck in it. Get your own! If we had a green screen back here, we could do like the flashes. Ah, uh, that'd be great. I was in the so yeah, new microphones. Next thing on the list is a green screen. That way we can be on the ocean or the beach yeah. while we play this. I was going to pull through. Every 21 minutes, it'll flip My back and forth between an office and a beach. To <laughs> collect some things for me. Man. And then the Death Stranding. Ooh, that felt good on my tummy. <laughs> that was a rumble. But the shockwave knocked out the power. Look at his eyes. And my life support. <clears throat> I woke up on the beach. Oh, more exposition, huh? So are they going to be like the beach is a new afterlife that was created because of the Death Stranding, or has it always been there? I think the first thing. I think it's a new. That's horrible. That's an existential nightmare that you can't even get out when you die. It's basically, I mean, this is a metaphor, they though, died in the two void for like, were there. um, dang, what's it called? They talked about it in philosophy with, that's <laughs> like the, the Help me. have you heard of philosophy? philosophy. What happened? <laughs> no, but it was, um, what's going they on? use the same metaphor in as Inception where that's your beach. Oh like, yeah. Like your innermost consciousness is connected to like this whole well of information and stuff and everyone so, oh, you, mean, uh, you mean um collective unconsciousness maybe like that you stuff <laughs> ancestral unconsciousness ah, look well. at his heart symbol i saw my wife and my daughter in the procession oh when the saints hey, go marching <laughs> in hey oh i will <laughs> the uh <laughs> The unicorns did the same thing. They all walked into the ocean and became part of the sea. Yeah, they're dead. Except, so he's like the last unicorn. So really, he should be like the unicorn man instead of heart man. Are you talking about the last unicorn? Yeah. All right, I ain't seen that since I was like six. What? Yeah. Man, I got it in there on DVD and VHS. Which, DVD. How do you want to watch it? <laughs> Both at the same time. All right. And that was the last time Man, I saw my family. Do you remember the the drunk skeleton from that movie? Yeah. We Man, he was, was great. Is that the end, just hanging out in the castle? In the game, he couldn't get drunk, so he was just drinking and it was all it falling fight. through his ribs and stuff. <laughs> I am so if he wants to see his family, why doesn't he just kill himself? Is he looking Ever for since, him? I've walked the beaches of others. Hey, my you footsteps. get off of my beach. When I get tired, hey. I oh. Here oh, hang on. Hey, you. No. <laughs> hey. hey. Ho. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> just say hey. 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 You. You. Get off of my beach. Hey. You. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you. You. It's time to do 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 I was trying to see if he would like say if he was looking for his daughter or not, or his wife and yeah. daughter, but he didn't. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching. Also, that little thing didn't make sense. His little image back into the past, because he said everybody's beach was like separate, and yeah. his beach was connected to everybody else's. I guess he can see everybody, but they can't see each other. The scientists Bro, how, how was the daughter and the mom walking together, holding hands, if everybody's beach is separate? Man, <laughs> Who knows? Man, Kojima, you make cool shit, but, like, make your mind up. He doesn't care. He does care. This is, like, his art. This is, like, the only thing he cares about. Speaking of auteurs, 
This is the whole reason we're playing this game. It's because, like, I wanted to see if he's, like, still got it. I mean, he's got it. It's just weird. But, I mean, Metal Gear was weird as, like, all get out, too, man. You have to, like, sit down and read, like, the whole backstory of that game. Yeah. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Our predicament. Certainly. Because wasn't, like, Liquid Snake, wasn't his, like, DNA falling apart or something? That's why he's called Liquid Snake. Um, no, he was Solid Snake. No, Solid Snake's the good guy, but Liquid Snake's the bad guy of Metal Gear Solid. Oh, yeah. Liquid. But, but I think his name, I think he was, like, dying or something. He was aging super, super fast. Uh, but but then it was, you find out in Metal Gear 4... That Solid Snake was aging rapidly fast, too, because of Fox Die, which was like a time-released, like, uh, viral or bacterial, like, warhead. Not warhead, but like... I got you. It was basically going to kill, like, a lot of people. But it turns out they were both clones of, like, Big Daddy or whatever his name is. Big Boss. Big Boss. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. But you learn more in Twin Snakes, which was a remake of the first one for the yeah. GameCube. Yeah. They kind of go more into the story and the backstory of everything. I just remember uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 being like super easy compared to the first one. Yeah, with Raiden. Yeah. yeah. It was easier. They did that bait and switch. I think I beat it in like an afternoon or something. Like after I beat it like two or three times before. I think yeah. you just, you could blow through it. Bruh. That's why uh, his floor is like. It caught him. Now that is a comfy floor. No, that is like, com look, they even got his bulge. Hey, all right. <laughs> The air mat floor. Steal the stuff. There you go. People just talk to Sam, don't they? <laughs> Man, they just talk to... Oh, gosh. Man. That's weird and stupid. Yeah. And popping fresh. You think he did that, like... As an improv, and then they just kept it. Yeah, probably. But man, I like Norman Reedus. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Sam, you heard it. Is it time to go? That's an episode. All right. So See you all next week on the exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. Bye. <laughs>